the Alps, a biodiversity treasure chest where human activities are strongly linked to the nature and its rhythms. About a quarter of the Alps is located in Italy, extending for over a thousand kilometers from southern France to Slovenia. Within this variegated arch live tens of thousands of animal and plant species. It's winter and animals adopt different survival strategies. The ibex spend the entire time at high altitudes choosing sunny areas where snow does not accumulate. Others, like squirrels, remain active when temperatures are milder and sleep in their den if conditions turn severe. The snow melts and the first flowers bloom. Spring is finally here. Toads awaken from their long sleep and leave their winter shelters ready to mate. Reptiles and amphibians don't actually hibernate. They enter a period of dormancy called brumation, with vital functions reduced to a minimum. The increasingly hot days allow the awakening of other cold-blooded animals, snakes. Snakes need external heat sources to raise their body temperature, so it's not uncommon to observe these reptiles completely exposed to the sun in the warm spring days. Despite their important ecological role and the shy nature, snakes aren't well seen by humans. This is also due to the fact that some of them are equipped with a powerful weapon, venom. Spread from Lombardia to Friuli Venezia Giulia, Viper Arberus, also known as Eder, is the most common species at high altitudes. The base coloration can vary from grey to reddish-brown and the zigzag dorsal pattern is usually darker in males. This viper has recently awakened and is preparing for the first malt of the year. The dull color, due to the lymphatic fluid that separates the old skin from the new, will soon be replaced by a brighter one. To get rid of the old skin, called exuvia, snakes rub against abrasive objects such as rocks and branches. Once the head has been freed, the snake tries to slip off the exuvia, attaching it to the grass and bushes around it.
despite the brand new skin, this viper looks almost completely black. We are in fact facing a case of melanism, an abundance of dark pigmentation due to genetic factors. Melanism can be partial or total, and presents advantages and disadvantages at the same time. Black vipers are able to thermoregulate faster, but they can be easily identified by a potential predator. Another disadvantage for a melanistic adder is the absence of the zigzag pattern, which seems to be a deterrent for some birds whom recognize it as a warning that the snake can defend itself with a venomous bite. The first molt of the males after brumation marks the beginning of the mating period. Males actively seek out females, attracted by the pheromones they release. This male has found what he was looking for, a black female well hidden between two rocks. He tries to simulate her by rhythmically rubbing her body with his head and tongue. If the female is interested, he will call next to her to prevent other males to interfere. If not, he will try to court her in another moment or look for another female. The adder can be observed in cool valleys, where it dwells in sunny scrubs, meadows, stony grounds, shrubs, and abandoned ruins. Thanks to activities such as the maintenance of grasslands and the construction of dry stone walls, man has unwittingly created and preserved ideal environments for the survival of these and other snakes.
Mimicry is the main defense vipers possess. The zigzag design is perfect for going unnoticed while warming up in the bushes. If the mimicry is not effective, they try to hide or, inhaling and exhaling deeply, they swell to appear larger and emit the classic warning hiss. They only resort to biting if cornered or attacked. Although they are often killed by peasants or breeders who fear their bite, the main threat to adders and other snakes is the fragmentation of their environment. The small size and slow movements make these animals extremely vulnerable when they need to cross a road to move, for example, from a thermoregulation place to a hunting one. In Europe alone, more than 100 million animals are hit on the roads every year, and while driving in a rich biodiverse environment, it's good to pay attention. The vertical pupil and the head distinct from the body, covert with many small scales, distinguish vipers from the other alpine snakes. But how to distinguish a netter from other viper species that share the same range? Although the zigzag pattern is hardly mistakable, the safest way is to observe the head, which unlike that of the asp and the horn viper, has a rounded snout. Contrary to popular belief, adders do not live in arid areas. In fact, they are frequently observed close to streams and pit bogs, where they can find a greater concentration of prey, small rodents, frogs and lizards. These old skins don't belong to vipers. Alpine streams and lakes are in fact the ideal habitat for another snake. The water snake or colored snake. It is not uncommon at high altitudes to observe melanistic individuals. Having to hunt amphibians and fish in cold water the black skin allows them to accumulate heat faster while exposing to the sun. At the end of September, the activity of adders gradually decreases. In a few weeks, with the first snowfalls, snakes will be hiding in their hibernacula. They will wake up with the warm temperatures of the next spring, bringing their shy contribution to the variegated beauty we can enjoy on our mountains. <laughs>